because it's already very hard for people to come forward to begin with and we already have a culture of victim blaming and people are really afraid to talk about things that happen to them and I think that the way that this is being handled is not good and I don't think that it's I think that it's going to have a lot of harmful effects. The number one reason that sex assault survivors do not come forward is a fear that they will not be believed. That's the number one reason. Um, so to watch it play out on such a huge national stage um, just can reinforce this idea that I'm not going to be taken seriously, nothing's going to happen, and I'm going to ma be made to look bad in this. So it is. It's, it's a lot of sex, ass sex assault survivors' worst nightmares. My hope is that there can still be ways that survivors can continue to feel empowered to tell their story. If, if, if they want the story to get out there, to take the risk to do it regardless of, of the effect of this bad, bad story. Instead of focusing on stories that uh, no one uh, uh, really debated about or non-controversial stories that everyone could agree were very good examples of the serious sexual assault problem on campuses across America, Rolling Stone chose to focus on the, on the one that was so bad that it seemed almost unbelievable and it then turned out to be unbelievable.